In the annals of history, few names spark the imagination like Albert Einstein. Born in 1879 in a small German town, his journey from a curious child in Munich to a towering figure reshaping our understanding of the universe is nothing short of extraordinary. Einstein's story is a riveting saga of rejection, resilience, and remarkable triumphs, encapsulating the special theory of relativity and the groundbreaking photoelectric effect. As he rose to international fame, grappling with the tumultuous events of his time, from the horrors of World War II to the moral dilemmas of the atomic age, Einstein remained a relentless seeker of truth. Welcome to another episode of Plaid Chronicles. Imagine a young boy whose early academic struggles belied the genius within, failing an entrance exam, yet destined to unravel the mysteries of time and space. He's too smart for school. By 1905, this once underestimated mind had unleashed theories that challenged the very fabric of scientific thought. His life, woven with personal struggles and victories, culminates in a legacy that transcends science, touching the realms of civil rights, global politics, and popular culture. This is the story of a man whose name became synonymous with genius, a story of a mind that illuminated the mysteries of the cosmos. Albert Einstein lived through and was in fact a central figure in some of the most important moments of the first half of the 20th century. In the quaint town of Ulm, Württemberg, Germany, a child who would redefine the understanding of the universe, Albert Einstein was born in 1879. Growing up in Munich during the 1880s and 1890s, young Einstein exhibited a profound curiosity and a keen intellect, particularly in mathematics and science. His early years, however, were not marked by the brilliance that would later define him. In 1895, at the age of 16, Einstein took the entrance exam for the Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich. Despite his exceptional abilities in mathematics and physics, he failed to pass other subjects, reflecting a pattern of struggle with traditional educational systems that would persist throughout his life. This setback, though, did not deter him. In the following year, Einstein made a bold move, renouncing his German citizenship and enrolling at the Swiss Federal Polytechnic, where he finally began to thrive in an environment more conducive to his unique way of thinking. Graduating in 1900 with a degree in physics and mathematics, Einstein embarked on his professional journey. He initially faced challenges in securing an academic position, leading him to accept a role in 1902 at the Swiss Patent Office in Bern. This seemingly mundane job would prove to be a crucible for his extraordinary mind. It was here in the quiet of the Patent Office that Einstein's thoughts soared beyond the confines of contemporary physics. In 1903, Einstein's personal life took a significant turn when he married Mileva Marek, a former classmate and a physicist in her own right. They later became parents to three children, further intertwining Einstein's personal and professional life. The year 1905, often termed Einstein's miraculous year, marked a seismic shift in the world of physics. In this single year, Einstein published four groundbreaking papers. These papers not only challenged but revolutionized existing theories. The most famous of these, the paper on the special theory of relativity, introduced the iconic equation E equal mc square, a formula that became a cornerstone for modern physics. Equally significant was his explanation of the photoelectric effect, which laid the groundwork for the development of quantum theory. This prolific output from a relatively unknown patent clerk stunned the scientific community. Einstein's theories on relativity and light challenged centuries-old notions of absolute time and space, ushering in a new era of physics. His work on the photoelectric effect, meanwhile, provided the first quantum explanation of a physical phenomenon, contradicting classical wave theories of light and setting the stage for the quantum revolution. These achievements in 1905 were just the beginning of Einstein's journey. 
They mark the emergence of a scientist who would not only unravel some of the deepest mysteries of the universe, but also inspire generations to look beyond the scene, to question, and to understand the fundamental workings of the cosmos. The young boy who once struggled in the traditional classrooms of Munich had now stepped onto the world stage, not just as a physicist, but as a visionary who would forever change the way we understand our world. Albert Einstein's ascent to the zenith of scientific acclaim began in the early 20th century. After his groundbreaking papers of 1905, he steadily climbed the academic ladder, holding positions at prestigious institutions in Zurich and Prague between 1909 and 1914. These years were pivotal, not only for Einstein's career, but also for the advancement of theoretical physics. In Zurich, he furthered his work on the quantum theory and relativity, while in Prague, his thoughts matured, laying the groundwork for his later theories. Just you. The year 1914 marked a significant milestone in Einstein's career when he was appointed director of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physics in Berlin. This position, within the heart of Germany's scientific community, provided him with an unrivaled platform to develop his theories. It was here, in the midst of World War I's turmoil, that Einstein completed his general theory of relativity in 1915. This theory, extending the special theory of relativity, introduced a new understanding of gravity, no longer a mere force acting at a distance. Gravity, according to Einstein, was the result of the warping of space-time by mass. This radical rethinking of gravity was as revolutionary as it was controversial. Einstein's general theory of relativity faced skepticism and disbelief but a dramatic event in 1919 catapulted him to global fame and proved his theory's validity. A total solar eclipse provided the perfect natural experiment to test his predictions. During the eclipse, light from stars passing close to the sun would be bent by the sun's gravity, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Observations made during the eclipse by British astronomer Sir Arthur Eddington confirmed Einstein's predictions. This confirmation was a sensational scientific breakthrough, making front page news worldwide and transforming Einstein into an international celebrity almost overnight. The recognition of Einstein's genius continued to grow, culminating in the Nobel Prize in Physics awarded to him in 1921. I am a genius! Interestingly, he received this highest scientific honor not for his theories of relativity, which were still contentious, but for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. Okay, if you say so. This work laid the foundation for quantum mechanics, further cementing his role as one of the foremost scientists of the era. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Einstein became a wandering ambassador for science. His extensive travels and lectures brought him face to face with other great minds of the time and with an audience captivated by his revolutionary ideas. He spoke not only about his theories, but also about the philosophical implications of scientific discoveries and the responsibility of scientists in society. His status as a leading figure in the scientific community was indisputable and his influence extended far beyond the walls of academia. In this period of global recognition, Einstein emerged not just as a brilliant physicist, but as a symbol of intellectual curiosity and a seeker of truth in a rapidly changing world. His journey from a patent clerk to a Nobel laureate is a testament to the relentless pursuit of knowledge and a deep understanding of the universe's mysteries. Einstein's rise to fame was not just a personal triumph, but a monumental leap for science forever altering humanity's understanding of the cosmos. Einstein's personal life, interspersed with his scientific achievements, was equally complex and transformative. In 1919, a significant change occurred in his personal life. He divorced Mileva Marek, his first wife and mother of his three children, and married Elsa Lowenthal, his cousin. This shift in his personal life coincided with a period of intense scientific productivity and increasing fame. 
The rise of Nazism in Germany in the early 1930s posed a grave threat to Einstein, both as a Jew and as a public figure who openly opposed the regime. His works were among those targeted in the infamous Nazi book Burnings, and he was labeled a public enemy. Recognizing the looming danger, Einstein made a critical decision that would alter the course of his life and career. In 1933, he chose to flee Nazi Germany, a move that undoubtedly saved his life and allowed him to continue his scientific work unimpeded. He settled in the United States, taking up a position at the prestigious Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. This institution would be his intellectual home for the remainder of his life. In Princeton, Einstein found a serene environment for his work, far from the political turmoil of Europe. However, the peace was short-lived. Elsa, his second wife and companion during these tumultuous times, passed away in 1936, adding a personal loss to the backdrop of global unrest. As World War II engulfed the world, Einstein, a lifelong pacifist, found himself in a moral quandary. His theories, particularly the equation E equal MC square, laid the groundwork for the development of nuclear weapons. In 1939, Realizing the potential for catastrophic misuse of nuclear fission, especially by Nazi Germany, Einstein took a step that would forever alter the course of history. He signed a letter drafted by physicist Leo Szilard to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, urging the United States to accelerate atomic research. This letter was a key factor in the initiation of the Manhattan Project, the U.S. research project that developed the atomic bomb. The impact of this decision weighed heavily on Einstein, who later expressed regret about his involvement once the full scale of the nuclear devastation became apparent. Nonetheless, his action in 1939 was a pivotal moment in the intersection of science and global politics. Yes! Yes! What, what's the worst that can happen? In 1940, in a further testament to his commitment to his new homeland and its ideals, Einstein became a U.S. star citizen while maintaining his Swiss citizenship. His decision to embrace American citizenship was not just a matter of convenience. It reflected his belief in the principles of democracy and freedom that the United States represented, especially in contrast to the oppressive regime he had fled in Germany. Einstein's emigration to the United States and his involvement in world affairs during this period were not mere footnotes in his life. They were integral to his legacy. His actions and decisions during these years reflected the complex interplay between his scientific genius, personal beliefs, and the tumultuous world events of the time. This period of his life underscored the profound impact a single individual can have on the course of history, both through scientific breakthroughs and moral choices. In the twilight of his remarkable life, Albert Einstein's focus shifted from groundbreaking scientific inquiries to profound advocacy for humanitarian and political causes. During the 1940s and 1950s, he emerged as a vocal advocate for civil rights, a world government, and Zionism, demonstrating his deep commitment to using his fame for the greater good. Einstein's advocacy for civil rights was particularly notable in the context of the racial segregation and discrimination prevalent in the United States at the time. He was an outspoken critic of racism, viewing it as a societal plague. His association with leading African American figures and institutions like singer Marian Anderson and Lincoln University, a historically black college, showcased his commitment to racial equality. His support for the idea of a world government stemmed from his desire to see a peaceful world free from the scourge of war. Einstein, deeply shaken by the devastation of World War II and the potential for future nuclear annihilation, believed that a supranational body could best ensure global peace and security. This advocacy, however, was fraught with complexities during the Cold War era as the world grappled with the ideological divide between capitalism and communism. Einstein's relationship with Zionism was equally nuanced. A supporter of the Jewish homeland concept, he played a significant role in the establishment of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem.
However, his vision of Zionism was cultural rather than political, advocating for a bi-national state where Jews and Arabs could coexist peacefully. In 1952, in recognition of his contributions and standing, he was offered the presidency of Israel, a largely ceremonial role. He declined, citing his lack of experience in political leadership. Einstein's death in 1955 in Princeton, New Jersey marked the end of an era. He left behind a legacy as one of the most influential scientists in history, a legacy that extended far beyond his scientific achievements. His contributions to the field of quantum mechanics were foundational, though he famously remained skeptical of its probabilistic nature, encapsulated in his statement, God does not play dice. This skepticism highlighted the philosophical rifts within the scientific community regarding the nature of reality. Einstein's initial pacifism, which evolved into support for the Allies during World War II, reflected the complexities of adhering to idealistic principles in a world beset by unprecedented threats. Uh, I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. His decision to encourage atomic research while fraught with moral implications, underscored the dilemma faced by scientists whose work can be both beneficial and destructive. The posthumous study of Einstein's brain, removed without his family's permission, sparked decades of ethical debates and scientific inquiry with the hope of uncovering the neurological basis of his genius. Wow, there's the source of it all, the brain. There was something about the brain that fascinated him, and with no small amount of effort, he cut the skull, removed the brain, perfused it with formaldehyde. And the next morning, the New York Times says that Thomas Harvey has preserved the brain for scientific study. This episode illustrates the enduring fascination with understanding the source of his intellectual capabilities. Einstein's influence extended far beyond the realms of science. His image and name have become synonymous with genius permeating popular culture, arts, and literature. His distinctive appearance, characterized by wild hair and a thoughtful expression, has become an iconic symbol of intellectual prowess. His personal correspondence, now an invaluable historical resource, provides intimate insights into his relationships, beliefs, and views on various global issues. These letters reveal a man deeply engaged with the world, thoughtful about its problems, and committed to ideals of peace and justice. Interestingly, Einstein was also an accomplished violinist, finding in music a source of joy and solace. His musical talent was more than a hobby. It was a reflection of his deep appreciation for the arts and their connection to the scientific world. Einstein's journey from a struggling student to a Nobel laureate, his advocacy for peace and equality, and his cultural impact paint a picture of a man who was not only a brilliant physicist, but also a humanitarian and a global icon. His life story, marked by rejection, triumph, and an unwavering pursuit of knowledge, continues to inspire and intrigue, making him a timeless figure in human history. If this narrative resonated with you, do support us. Hit that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe. Thank you for staying with us to the end. See you in the next video on Plaid Chronicles.